What I have on either side of the skull here are the bones of the neck, the cervical vertebrae. I have C1 and C2. I have C3, 4, and 5 stacked. In fact, when I put them together, we can see that we're actually starting to build the neck. But in this video, I want to look at C1 and C2 in particular. C1 and C2 are cervical vertebrae. They do have the distinguishing feature of the cervical vertebrae, which, as I mentioned before, are these transverse foramen. Here, and again here, and on C2, you'll also see it here and here. So the vertebral arteries that run through these transverse foramen are going to come all the way through these cervical bones as well. But what's unique about these is C1 and C2 are oftentimes referred to as the atlas and axis. The others continue on with the names of C3, 4, 5, 6, 7, T1, 2, 3, 4, etc., etc. But C1 and C2, the atlas and the axis, have these unique names because they are a little bit unique. When I stack them on top like this, you'll notice a few things. C1 has this anterior arch to it. This is the anterior side. And keep in mind, there's no body right here. We have a posterior arch, but what you'll see in the place of where the body would be on this vertebrae is exactly where the dens of C2 fits right in place. So this is C2, and we have the dens sitting right here on top of this body. When this atlas axis complex sits together and again you're looking at the posterior view here and we take the skull I'm going to turn this around to the posterior side and we look at the underside of the skull you'll remember that we have on either side of foramen magnum these two very smooth condyles we call them occipital condyles you remember this is the occipital bone at the back of our head, these occipital condyles right here rest right on the superior articular facet of C1. So this is going to sit just like this. And when it sits like that, you can see right through to foramen magnum, right exactly where our spinal cord is going to pass through. And what you'll notice is when the skull sits this way, it can glide very nicely right on C1, just like what happens when we nod our head yes. That's the skull sitting on C1. In addition to that, when we shake our head no, side to side, okay, we rotate our head side to side, that's C1 interacting a little bit with C2. And again, we call this the axis, just like the axis of planet Earth is sort of that imaginary line that runs down the Earth where Earth rotates around. We have Atlas rotating right around that axis. So again, a little bit unique here, but this is C1 and C2. C1 is the Atlas, C2 is the axis.